Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to Lempis. Today is going to be another video that is Germany related. As you know, we live in this country since probably I would say five years together and she's living in Germany since eight years. So we kind of have an experience, a direct experience of what it means living in Germany. And today's video is about things we wish we knew before we moved to this country. I just wish I knew I needed to apply for an apartment already before you land in Germany. You need to already start the process of application for apartments and in this case collect all the documents you need. To be honest, there is it's really difficult for you to get an apartment unless you have a proof of your financial status, how much is your income and how much uh, and this income has to be actually verified and in Germany this certification is called Schufa. Without this certification you basically cannot rent an apartment because nobody will allow you in uh, without this certification. It's something that is compulsory and every time we were looking for an apartment to rent we were asked of course our Schufa do documentation. As an African moving to Europe for the first time, Germany I was super shocked. I just wish I knew more about their nudity culture. During the summer in Berlin, I've also seen it in, in Munich. You go to the park and people are just lying naked. As an African, I have never seen an adult in their normal sense outside somewhere naked. I like uh, nudity culture and uh, I think we should be more free with our bodies so... Why I don't see you going to the park naked now? Because you will forbid me. No! <laughs> oh my god! Just go sweetie, get naked and go! <laughs> it, it's a shock for a foreigner like myself. It's not only parks or outdoors. The most common places where you'll go, which is also a German tradition, is like the sauna. In the sauna area, in pretty much all, I would say most if not all German saunas, you go, you enter there naked and it's always mixed. So yes. that you should also, I wish I knew and you should also as a foreigner kind of be prepared. Like I'm going to the fitness, I'm going to the sauna. Oh, naked. They are naked. You're not even allowed to enter the sauna. No, you're not you allowed. It's actually it's compulsory. It's Germans love rules. Like they really intrinsically love to follow rules. So if there is some rule in place, everybody should follow and they are yeah. so good at it really 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 everybody should follow rules uh, but i think that's not a problem of course it's a little bit surprising because you see in most country rules are not followed as good as here but for me my issue is always i think about it <laughs> yeah but i think my issue is there are so many rules also minor tiny things it's like every single teeny tiny thing is regulated by a rule somewhere when i hear a rule that says you should check your car on the parking every third day. I'm in Namibia on vacation. I'm not doing that. Yes. And you, you, you know, it's just, things make me insane. That yeah, and then you come back road. and you have a thousand five hundred euro fine because yeah. your your car was towed uh, towed uh, like fifteen days before, and then you have to pay a lot of money. It's not only that; it's like simple things. Also, like how often you should check your post box. There is a rule for that. There is a rule. Ah, oh, baby. Four rules. You don't even know this. There is a rule for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Sunday, the shops are closed. No matter what, you are not going to find any shop open on Sunday. So basically, I don't know, that is not like that in, in Italy and I was not used to that. So for us also on Sunday, the, some shops are open and you can go buy groceries. For us, most of the shops are open at least on Sunday until lunch time. Mm -hmm. Then you can just go on Sunday. Grocery shops, I think, until five or four, they're still open. But you have some shops open, but here, gone. No, make it's sure you buy all your things on a Saturday. Otherwise, you're really forced to go into a service station or very small shops at the train station that are yeah, open expensive. and super expensive. Okay. Recycling. As a foreigner, before you embarrass yourself, you definitely want to make sure you inform yourself about recycling. Waste separation. This is German rule number one wow. for every day. Be it at home when you're throwing something away at the airport. 
train station on the street the bins are mainly most of the time always separate yeah so you i just wish because when i was new and we were living with this old lady was hosting us trust me we just dumped everything until the lady said oh no 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 this no, no. one I have never experienced this in my home country before. I really wish I knew a little bit more about paperwork and letters. Mm -hmm. Germans like to communicate with letters. Every single thing. If I think of how many letters I receive from my bank, if you think of any administration you're doing, they're more comfortable sending you a letter than sending you an email, although they have your email, they have your phone number, anything. Or they would send you an email and again a letter. A letter. So this... It's I, mean, make, I just wish I yeah, knew. That's crazy. And this is also why here you can never survive without a post box. In Namibia, it's not a problem. It's, it's not a problem. We <laughs> don't own one. But here, hmm, a week away, the thing yeah. is like that. Yes. Yeah, basically, you, they leave the letters <laughs> to your neighbors because they are not fitting in the in the box anymore. If they are very aggressive, they put it also on top of your box. Which are... Like resting time. So, as a Namibian, I was never used to... This is resting time. I can't do this in my house because my neighbors are what, 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 what. But here there is like rural time on, mm -hmm. in the afternoon during weekends or certain time between lunch and evening where people are just taking a nap. It's rural mm -hmm. side. You can't be drilling whatsoever. It's not a good thing to do. Yeah. Or sat Sunday morning and you're doing something on your garden and your neighbors are not happy because it's rural side. It's not something important. Uh, nice to do. Yeah. It doesn't give a good impression. I wish I knew that. Yes, and they can easily ask you. I mean, they don't ask you. They don't call the polizai, but uh, for sure they are going to give you to to get you in some troubles. Especially if you are living in a in an apartment complex, uh, people just get back back at you with uh, some I don't know some things like they leave trash outside of your doors. Yes, yeah, so like there that. are actually a couple of things they can do. I've seen also. Here in our apartment complex last year, there was like a violation of rural side. There, I was already living eight years in Germany. I felt that my rural side was also violated. And what they would do if you're living in a particular complex, they would probably report you to the administration. And you see a lot of letters. Every mm -hmm. person received a letter. Don't dis don't disturb the other. Yes, something like that. Otherwise, German is like it brings us to the point we have spoken before. They will send you a letter, even though they see you in the in the corridor. Mm -hmm. They will still just send you a letter. Mm -hmm. I just wish I knew about biking. Mm -hmm. I did already have a bike before in Namibia, but I didn't know this big biking culture. Culture. Okay. So wow. it's you want to have the most exciting, nice looking. I'm also like that person now who is always like, I want yes. the, the nice best light. I mean, they, bicycle. They really consider the bicycle really highly. So. You don't you don't see German people spending less than five hundred euros on a bicycle if you like you are considered to be cheap if you spend less sure? on that. I think so. Yeah, if you see the like yeah, German, see the like for example, uh, if you go with a bicycle that has no light functioning light on the street and it's dark, they are, the the police is going to stop you and fine you. You have all the nice streets for biking and you want to obviously know as a foreigner which side you bike, when do you bike, what you should have on your bicycle in terms you get control because there is also control mm -hmm. and stuff and rules that are regulating which side of the road you should be when you have a bicycle and things like that and that should be respected. When you're moving here for the first time, it takes you some time. If you do an integration course, maybe you learn a bit about it. Otherwise, I just wish I knew a little bit more and I had involved myself with this mm -hmm. Sunday thing never sit Never with me it, up to today. Let's today go. is for resting. Resting side. Exactly. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ciao, ciao, ciao. It looked a little bit... Do it again. It did, didn't look organic. Didn't look... <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go, go. It didn't look organic. Go. Okay, okay. So that was it for today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to leave us a comment down below, give us a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And we want to thank you all uh, for your support and for following Lampis. We are trying to make better content for you and to entertain you. So thank you.
Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ma se non cari, finita, bella, è scoperta. So, the next.